Hey everybody. I just found out tonight that I have been completely wrong about my water's hardness in my local area. I know my tap water has zero degrees hardness because I run it through a water softening system, but I've been wrong about my groundwater's hardness. You know, when I take the water directly from my well pump and I bypass my water softening system, I've always assumed that I had super duper soft water. I've also checked the water in the stream across the street. I've checked the water in my local reservoir and every source of water around here I've checked has always been extremely soft water, like zero degrees hardness, completely soft. And I've believed this for years and I'm just completely wrong about that. And I'm wrong about it because my test kit has been wrong for all these years and I never knew it. So I finally figured it out over the last couple of days because of what I've been doing with my testing uh, and experimenting with making hard water. And here's how I got it wrong and here's why I've been wrong about it for so many years. Uh, I never did an upper end test to verify whether or not I was getting valid results on this API general hardness test kit. So when I first got this test kit years ago, it's the little drip bottles. You put one drop in and it's supposed to turn orange. And then you put another drop in, you shake it up, you put another drop in, you shake it up and whatever drop turns it from orange to green lets you know that number is however many degrees hardness you have, three drops, four drops, whatever. And so every time I would put the drops in, the very first drop would turn it this sort of yellowy, greenish sort of color. And I never knew, like, is that what they're calling orange? Should I keep putting drops in until it changes to green? Or is that already what they're calling green? Or because I have no hardness at all, am I getting this sort of weird, not really any kind of result? I'm just getting this sort of meh kind of result. And so the way I tested to find out whether or not I was getting a valid result was I took distilled water and I used that as my control because that I know has zero degrees hardness and it's completely soft. There's no hardness in it at all. So that was the result I got with my tap water. I then did a test with my RO water. I then tested distilled water and I got the same result every time I did it. And I said, okay, well, this must be what you get as a result when you have no water hardness. And I never bothered to take some water, add a little bit of calcium to it, and then test that just to see what that color change really would have looked like or whatever. I just never ran through that experiment. I tested all of the soft water Every test came out the same and I said, okay, this is what soft water looks like. That's why I'm getting this odd result because it's zero degrees hardness. Just like my RO water, just like the distilled water, just like my soft tap water, this is what a zero degree hardness test looks like. So when I tested the water across the street in the stream, those were the test results I got. I said, okay, it's the same. It must be zero degrees hardness and so on and so forth. Every test I ever took gave me that same weird sort of yellowy green kind of result from the very first drop that went in. I never got color changes. I've put 40 drops in those vials and that same sort of yellowy green color just got more of that color, but I never got a color change. And so recently I've been doing these tests where I'm adding calcium, I'm adding hardness to the water and I know I'm adding hardness to the water. I'm using my TDS meter and I'm watching the TDS come up and I'm getting the exact same results with my general hardness test meter. And I know I'm putting hardness in this water and I'm still getting the exact same results as though it was my distilled water or RO water. And so I said, all right, there's got to be something wrong with this test here. So I ordered a new bottle of API general hardness test kit and boom, I get results. My groundwater out of my uh, well pump has two degrees hardness. I very clearly have that turn orange when I put the first drop in. The second drop clearly changes it to a green color. So that's two degrees hardness in my groundwater. And I actually, my neighbors probably think I'm crazy, but I ran outside right before it got dark tonight and scooped up a bag of water 
uh, from the stream across the street and I tested that and that's got six degrees hardness in it. So for all these years I've been keeping these crayfish and I've been claiming they come from this soft water and I've been keeping all these other fish that I came, you know, comes from soft water are not. They are coming from moderately soft, you know, six degrees hardness is not a lot of hardness, but it's certainly not zero degrees hardness and it's certainly not super duper soft water. Uh, even one or two degrees hardness is, you know, really soft water and these fish have not been living in that. So what I've been doing in my aquariums over the years, and I don't do this in all my aquariums and I'm not really good about staying on top of doing it all the time, but the things that I've been doing to add mineralization to my water, I've been so reluctant because it's, you know, I don't want to put too much minerals in there, assuming that I've got this really, really soft water. And apparently what I've been doing has been working and that's why I've got such stability. So this has been some interesting experiments that I've been doing. Again, nothing real super formal yet. I haven't actually shot any documentation and I honestly don't know what I'm gonna shoot video of when I shoot video. I'm gonna show you a glass of water that's got some, you know, gravel in the bottom of it and I can maybe show you the TDS meter or something or, or something, I don't know. But just sitting down and explaining what I did and these are the results I got or whatever is probably gonna be uh, the way these videos work out when I'm done my tinkering or whatever but again make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss any of that but having an accurate working uh, general hardness test kit is going to be really really important going forward I'll actually be able to know how hard the water is getting when I'm working on it so I have to sort of almost rethink the way I've been looking at the fish in my aquariums and my water for years the entire time I've been keeping fish up until today I have believed that I have had zero degrees hardness in my groundwater and the, you know, when I go fishing out at the reservoir, I've brought home samples of that water and I've always believed all the water around here has no hardness at all and it's simply not true. There is about six degrees hardness and next time I'm at the reservoir, I'm gonna be taking samples from there and I'm gonna be sort of re-looking at the water uh, around here. Just again, out of my own curiosity, I do keep native fish in, in one aquarium and I just like tinkering with this kind of stuff. So just out of curiosity, I'm gonna be finding out uh, what we're dealing with that. So I'm gonna get back to it. I got a, you know, a couple of little more things I'm gonna try tonight. So I'm gonna be back in the other room tinkering with that. Not a lot going on here in the fish room, but if you're subscribed, you won't miss anything else I've got going on, uh, nor will you miss anything that I've got going on here in the fish room when I do uh, get around to doing it. So thanks for watching this one. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you real soon in the next one.